I'm Robin Grossinger, and I'm an environmental scientist at the San Francisco Estuary Institute, where I study the history and ecology of the Bay. I think I first noticed the Bay uh, as a kid growing up in the East Bay. Um, as we would drive to San Francisco, and, and like many people, I was fascinated by the sculptures down there at the Emeryville Mud Flats. But even growing up in the East Bay, I, I didn't pay that much attention to the Bay, I think, until I started to study it and, and become fascinated by how we have this huge natural body of water right in the middle of a highly developed region, and how, despite that, it's maintained a lot of its ecology. I study the ecology of the Bay because I'm fascinated with how nature and people can, can coexist uh, within developed, highly modified landscapes. And the Bay is a, is a great example of, of wildlife and fish and beaches and marshes flourishing in many places right up against a densely populated region. So to understand um, how the Bay is changing, we study old maps and look at photographs and discover how the beaches were positioned and how big they were and where they were and what marshes look like. And then we compare that to the Bay today and, and try to understand how it's changing and, and how it's going to change in the future. Sea level rise is a natural phenomenon that's been going on for thousands of years, but is, is taking place faster now because of climate change. And the real challenge is that we've built up our shorelines right up to the bay's edge, the water's edge. So, so there's, there's no room for the seas to grow, for the bay to naturally expand. To respond to climate change and sea level rise, we have to act both locally, doing what we can to adjust the shoreline and modify it uh, creatively, and sort of redesign the shoreline so that it's adaptable to sea level rise. And at the same time, individually, we can reduce how much you know, our impact on climate change is. And so the more that we help reduce the amount of carbon put out there, the um, you know, cumulatively around the globe, that's going to reduce the amount of sea level rise. Alongside the freeway here is actually a pretty fascinating spot in the bay. There's a bunch of beaches that have reformed themselves um, over the past few decades. And they're, there, there used to be a lot of beach along the shoreline here naturally, but it was all filled as the bay was developed. But to me, these beaches show the potential of the bay to recover. 